hey, so uh, this happened. Joining me now with reaction is Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman is back. Congresswoman, welcome back. Sean, thank you. Always a pleasure. That was from September 17th of this year, the host of Fox News Channel's 9 p.m. Eastern Time show, interviewing Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. Two and a half weeks after that same host donated $5,000 to Michelle Bachman's political action campaign. Mr. Hannity's donation to Michelle Bachman was noted at the time it was reported on by Salon.com in the article you see here. Fox News Channel's executives responded to the ethical quandary pointed out here by telling the St. Paul Pioneer Press in Minnesota that Mr. Hannity would disclose his $5,000 donation to Michelle Bachman's political action committee on the air to his viewers when he interviewed Ms. Bachman. All right, uh, Congresswoman, good to see you. Thank you for taking time. We appreciate you being here. Despite Fox News Channel's assertions that the host would disclose on air when he interviewed her that he had made those donations to Ms. Bachman's political action committee, the host did not make that disclosure. The same host also maxed out his personal political contribution to a Republican New York State congressional candidate named John Gomez. The host then interviewed Mr. Gomez after the campaign donations in late September of this year. Fox, Fox News hosts have also explicitly endorsed Republican candidates. Just from this election cycle, uh, here's one. I stand proudly in Kasich's corner with an endorsement as long as it doesn't hurt you. <laughs> we want all the help you can give us, Sean. Here as part of a press release announcing a whole list of endorsements, the same Fox News host, Mr. Hannity, is touted by the Todd T. Hart for Congress campaign for Mr. Hannity's endorsement of Mr. T. Hart. Here's another explicit endorsement of a congressional candidate named Michael Faulkner, an endorsement again by the Fox News host, Mr. Hannity. Presumptive 2012 Republican presidential candidate Mike Huckabee is also a host at Fox News. He hosts a show there, I think that is on the weekends. Making explicit political endorsements is essentially Mr. Huckabee's full-time other job besides being on Fox. When he is not making explicit political endorsements, Mr. Huckabee, the Fox News host, is appearing at political fundraisers for Republican candidates. Fox News, Republican fundraiser. Fox News, Republican fundraiser. That's what he does as a Fox News host. Same goes for Fox News host Sarah Palin. Ms. Palin hosts a TV show on Fox called Real American Stories. And when she's not working as a host at Fox News or doing her other TV show that I think is kind of like a reality show, um, she is endorsing Republican candidates. Also headlining Republican fundraisers. Fox News, Republican fundraiser. Fox News, Republican fundraiser. It's what she does as a Fox News host. Here's the local press in Cleveland. Very excited about Fox News host Sean Hannity headlining an expensive fundraiser for Republican candidate for Ohio Governor John Kasich. Sometimes Fox News hosts save the travel budget and they just hold these fundraisers for Republican candidates right on the air. How can I help you raise money? Well, people could go to michellebachman.com. I need the help. It is a very central race, and 11 times, Sean, they're coming after J Johnny Kasich. For 11 times he's going to be here. It's amazing. Yeah. People can come on our website at kasichforohio.com. Sunday night at 6.30, we're going to talk about the damage the Obama agenda has uh, done to us. And if you have any extra nickels or dimes, uh, please send it our way. Well, I, I, for I, I want to put, this, put some emphasis on this because this is really important. What, to explain to people why we, it, it, you, we cannot afford to lose that race. Also, those nickels and dimes. Uh, in case it wasn't clear enough, this is from Mr. Hannity's own website, from his photo album on his website. The website uh, brags that this is Mr. Hannity headlining a National Republican Congressional Committee fundraiser. That fundraiser reportedly raised $7 million for Republican House candidates. Earlier this year, uh, that took place, Mr. Hannity raising money for the NRCC. $7 million in one fundraiser. $7 million earlier this year. You may have heard today um, that my colleague and friend Keith Olbermann was temporarily suspended from his job hosting Countdown on this network because he made three personal political donations to candidates in this last election cycle. The reason that resulted in Keith's suspension is that here at MSNBC, there is an explicit employee rule against hosts making contributions like that. You can do it if you ask in advance and management tells you okay. 
That's what I understand happened with our morning show hosts' political donations in 2006 under previous management. But if you don't ask in advance for an exemption from the rule, you are bound by the rule. Uh, for the record, the rule applies to us hosts here at MSNBC and to NBC News staff. Uh, CNBC is not under NBC News, so CNBC staffers are not bound by the same thing. I understand this rule. I understand what it means to break this rule. I believe everybody should face the same treatment under this rule. I also personally believe that the point has been made and we should have Keith back hosting Countdown. Here's the larger point, though. That's going mysteriously missing from all the right-wing cackling and the Beltway, old media cluck, cluck, clucking about this. This is what I think is missing. Let this incident lay to rest forever. The facile, never true anyway, bullpucky, lazy conflation of Fox News and what the rest of us do for a living. I know everybody likes to say, oh, that's cable news. It's all the same. Fox and MSNBC mirror images of each other. Let this lay that to rest forever. Hosts on Fox raise money on the air for Republican candidates. They endorse them explicitly. They use their Fox News profile to headline fundraisers. Heck, there are multiple people being paid by Fox News now to essentially run for office as Republican candidates. If you count not just their hosts, but their contributors, you are looking at a significant portion of the whole lineup of Republican presidential contenders for 2012. They can do that because there's no rule against that as Fox. They run as a political operation. We're not. Yes, Keith's a liberal and so am I, and there are other people on this network whose political views are shared openly with you, our beloved viewers, but we are not a political operation. Fox is. We are a news operation, and the rules around here are part of how you know that. Before it was politically safe to do it, Keith Olbermann attracted the ire of the right wing and a lot of others besides when he brought to light and raged against what he saw as the errors and sins of the previous presidential administration. Keith was also the one who brought to light Fox News' water-carrying role for the Bush administration. It was one whose point-of-view journalism exposed and put exclamation points on the problems in the political operation disguised as news network model embraced by the guys across the street at Fox. Now, weirdly, once again, it is Keith who is illustrating the difference between what he does on TV, what we do here at MSNBC, and what goes on across the street. Good night.